So there's some neat stuff happening in rheumatology that might become personalized medicine. So there's a group out of the UK that is now partnering with other sites within Europe and they actually have some US sites from the AMP grant. And what they're looking at is synovial biopsies of patients with rheumatoid arthritis that have active disease and then they're randomizing them to the usual treatments that, that the patients would be eligible for. So they've usually failed things like methotrexate, so they're going on to advanced therapies. And what they can do, and it's really brilliant, um, with a repeat biopsy down the road as well, they can say, did the pathology actually make a difference on a drug that would be directed if you had a lot of B cells, a B cell depleter, or did it make a difference? So that is number one, and number two, they're looking over time at repeat biopsies. These patients, interestingly, are willing to get little biopsies out of small joints in their hands, but they're looking to see, do you get drug resistance over time because the pathotype has changed? So as a, for instance, about half the patients have a lot of B cells, um, uh, about 15 or 20% are very scarred looking or fibrotic, so not very inflamed and fibrotic, and those, that latter group seems to be recalcitrant to treatment. Then there's other ones with a lot of B cells but still have inflammatory T cells and would our T cell therapy work in a T cell one or B cell therapy in the, the one and nothing maybe work in the other or would TNF as a for instance work in everything so I think that that is the first step towards really rationally treating and maybe adjusting our treatment over time if this pans out and it's going to be the next many years before we get really good answers. But if this pans out, then we could look at the same idea in psoriatic arthritis or maybe in lupus looking at uh, tissue. We could do get tissue in lupus like kidney biopsies and skin biopsies. So I think that that will help um, you know, me when I'm treating probably a decade from now. In the near future, some of the things that I would think about are again using the drugs we have, including our garden variety, traditional disease modifying drugs, more effectively early. So maybe front end loading more combinations that are um, perhaps a little bit less used, particularly in the U.S., but looking at triple therapy, it's used in one area of the U.S. more than elsewhere, but uh, from the beginning and thinking the way we think in cancer. Front end load, so high, lots of treatment, high doses maybe even at the beginning, then backing off of maintenance therapy over time. So less drugs and maybe even sometimes the promise of no drugs. And I think if we looked at rheumatoid arthritis as a for instance like cancer, I think if we thought of the cancer paradigms, we'd maybe do better for our patients. Of course, not saying it is cancer, it's not, but that in cancer things spread a rheumatoid spreads in early disease and in cancer often they give a combination so you don't get drug resistance and I think we could learn from that.